Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indianapolis. I'm home for the holidays, and I, I've i decided the show must go on. So we're going to do a workout here with my sister, Madison. And today's workout, since I have some garage equipment, garage gym equipment, we're not going to do a, a normal at-home workout that doesn't require any uh, equipment, what we're going to do today is we're going to use the squat rack that I got. Um, that's the only piece of equipment that's required for this. If you don't have that, you can improv. This is an improbable kind of thing. Or you can try an at-home workout. Substitute some body weight squats. Hold a bunch of books in front of you. I don't, you know, something like that. So we're going to start with a warm-up here inside because it's about 30 degrees outside. It's pretty chilly. We've got our sleeves on at least. I also have my, my Lulu shirt that has holes in it so that I don't sweat too much in it. Breathable. Probably not appropriate for right now, but uh, we've got a dog upstairs, a vacuum running, and we're just going to hit the ground going. First one, Maddie, we, it's called rocking. So. Uh, we're gonna sit like this, kind of like you're falling back or doing sit-ups or something. And I just want you to reach and tap your toes like this, okay? Pull your toes up a little bit. Yeah, that'll help you out. So we're gonna fall back and then come all the way back like this, okay? Try not to grab your toes, but if you have to, it's okay. We're gonna do 20. One, two, three, Four, five, six, this one takes forever, <laughs> seven, eight, and you do it pretty well, nine, ten. So normally what I tell people is just to kind of round it out so that you're not thumping on the ground. It's <laughs> twelve. Yeah, I kind of have to because I keep hitting my hood if I go too, yeah. <laughs> too flat um, back. 15. I feel like I'm falling backwards. I keep falling <laughs> forward. 17. Okay, last three. We're going to do a oh, rock no. and then we're going <laughs> to squat like this. Oh, I, I missed it. 19. Nope. Almost. <laughs> that one probably counts, but oh, that one felt better. Okay, so 20 rocks, good way to start uh, all of that. It's kind of like a crunch. Yeah. And as you fall back, you have to control yourself so you don't, if you thud, you lose that and you don't have the right ab tone and the ab positioning that you need. Um, so that's why I like to start with that one. <sighs> Next one, I got my list here. <laughs> Slightly off camera, so you can tell that this is a magic trick. Next one, crab walk. Okay, I'm gonna go first. You go back there. Crab walk. We're gonna modify this. Turn your fingers forward like this. And it's the same kind of seated position, right? So we wanna hold the same position. I want you, I don't want you um, crunching down like this. I just want you to tuck your tailbone up towards the sky. So okay. just like you're rounding your back, okay? And we're just gonna take 20 steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. Okay, give that a shot. Okay, so we're here, uh -huh. is this rounded? Yeah. Do you move your arms and legs at the same time? Yeah, try to, yep. <laughs> 13, 14, 20, perfect. Okay, we'll try to keep running here. Uh, we got two more exercises inside. This next one is really difficult. And so it's, it's good that mom didn't want to do this on camera <laughs> because <laughs> she'd have trouble with this one. So you remember the rock to the squat that we did at the end like this? Yeah. So I want you to start in this squat, this full squat. Okay, you got some room, okay. Shift your weight to your right leg, okay? Pick your left leg up and bring it forward. You can put your hand on the ground. Okay, so um, 
I don't know if you can tell on camera, Maddie's heel came up off the ground. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn. You can just stay right there, get comfortable. This is where I am, this is what I want. I want a nice flat heel, I want a good ankle mobility. She couldn't find that, so she went like this, where her heel came up off the ground. So, let's come back to your two leg squat. You got your heels on the ground, right? So keep, when you shift your weight, push through that heel a little bit more. Yep, and then when you pick the other leg up, you can put that hand down to help you through it. Bring that foot forward, you got your heel now. Yeah. Okay, try to bring your other hand forward now. And we fall, <laughs> right? So this kind of lights up your leg a little bit when you're, you're trying to get the mobility. What I want you to try to do, we're gonna do six of those on each side. Mm -hmm. Just try to get in the position. There's no squatting involved. We'll do that next. But um, you get this, this side to side. It's kind of like a, a yoga mobility drill thing. When you fall, just try not to hit me in the face. So I got one here. Two, three, four. So yeah, you can use your hands to guide you if you need it. Try not to. Lost count completely. I think that was three on each side. We are dressed for the outside. And I am sweating my <laughs> balls off. Trying to break that sweat. <laughs> So what I'm looking for here is for this to look pretty similar on each side. And that's kind of like, that's the dream. I think I did six, did you get it? That's not bad. Ugh. Okay, okay. That's probably the best. So that one can be hard. That one has definitely warmed us up a little bit though. So the other ones were more for positioning. And then these ones are more for, let's get your heart rate going. And let's get warm because it's freezing outside. <laughs> so we talked about keeping the heel down. That's really important for teaching you how to drive through your leg muscles the right way. Turn your hamstrings on when you're squatting. Um, it keeps your, your hips in a good position, keeps your back from getting tight. I know you get some of that. Yeah. Um, also important for the next step. So the next step, that was what I like to call pistol squat walking, because it kind of looks like you're walking as you do it, but you're in the bottom of a pistol squat. We're gonna actually do pistol squats now. <laughs> so I'm gonna stand up. You're just gonna see my lower body. Um, I'm gonna try to come all the way down, all the way up, and I'll do all of my leg at once. If you can't go all the way down, that's okay. Just even go halfway, like even this is a good start. Oh, Ooh, nice. I don't get how you can, oh my goodness, keep the balance too. I think I got that, okay. How many did you do? Uh, we're gonna try for six. Ooh, I fall on this side all the time. I think I did six. I sure feel like I did six. But I don't want to do five on camera and be a wimp. So, oh, one more. Oh, I can't go. <laughs> okay. Did you get them? It did something weird to my <laughs> quad. Like, not the one that was squatting, but this one up. Yeah, I had some kind of, good. like, twitch in it, and it was hurting. So that one shortens a lot <laughs> on the way down. And when you straighten your foot out, it makes the foot really heavy. It makes the leg really heavy. So that one muscle really tries to help you out. <laughs> but it gets really short, so you feel it. Um, do you need help on that one? I didn't see. I was too busy not falling or falling. <laughs> but... No, I get the general idea. I think my legs just aren't strong enough yet for so, it. And, th and that's totally normal. So the mobility, the reason this is so challenging is because there is a mobility and a strength component to this. You have to literally move your whole body with one leg, but you need to have the mobility so that those muscles turn on and you don't fall. 
So that's why we start with the pistol squat walking. We start with all the other stuff to give you the, at least the mobility. And then we can just modify, you know, the depth that you go to. If you don't have the strength, I can just start here, squat to about here. And that's fine. That's totally appropriate for most people. Just try to make sure you stay over that leg and you're not losing your balance. Okay, if that's even too hard, you can hold on to something and do a split squat like this, or you can just do a normal split squat if you don't need to hold on to anything. But all I'm trying to do there is warm you up in single leg stance. Because it, you know, it unlocks your mobility for the rest of your workout so you can do some cooler stuff and it gets your muscles going. Okay, that is the warm up. We're gonna go outside to the garage gym take this warm up into a workout. All right, everyone, it's about 34 degrees now outside. The sun is blinding and it's freezing. So we're gonna start our, after our warm up. We did our, uh, we did our rocking, we did our crab walk. Yep, I remember it. We did our pistol squat walking and then we did our pistols and my legs definitely feel it. I'm sure Maddie's do as well. We're gonna go, we're gonna start our workout here with a barbell back squat. This is a really traditional squat. So, um, I'll, Maddie, I'll go first. Okay. So we have, a, we have a bit of a jank set up here. This bar has about negative one millimeters of clearance. Oh no, that's maybe two millimeters of clearance. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try to be careful. We're gonna walk under. We set the bar to a height that Maddie can get to because she's a little bit shorter than I am. Not that I'm tall. I'm just gonna take a comfortable stance and I'm gonna squat down, making sure to not fall forward, but shift back into my butt muscles at the bottom and come back up. Now I'm gonna do about 15 of these. Maddie, you don't have to do 15. That was hard <laughs> after those pistols. All right, you can go ahead. If you want to face the camera, Maddie, you're okay to do that. It just, it looks weird. It looks like you don't know what you're talking about. And so when you, <laughs> when you come back in, you'll be able to look at the hooks a little bit better. That's all, okay. this way. Here. So yeah, nice comfortable stance, good. Good, now Maddie, when you squat back, um, can you turn towards the wall a little bit? You won't hit anything, keep going. Okay, pause right there. So we're gonna hope that you can see this. Do one more squat and look at her back curve. Okay, so it's a little steep, it's a little extra. Come on back up. So what I want you to do is I want you to pretend like you're wearing a belt. Okay. Pull your belt buckle up to your belly button. Yes, so that's really good. You can see, I can see from the side here that her back has flattened out a little bit. So I want you to hang on to that while you come down. You're gonna have to kind of take a bow okay. and go really slowly, cause you might lose it. That's perfect, yeah, that's really good. Okay, now try to speed up, okay. but try to hang on to that. If you lose it, that's okay, just fix it next time. Yep. Yep. You're okay, you're okay. I'm gonna step aside a <laughs> Just so long as you don't hit the car. We have to keep working over holiday break. Okay, you're starting to arch a little bit more? Yep, so hang on to it at the very bottom. Yep. This is an ab workout too. Hey, an ab workout. <laughs> so if you see my video about talking about the abs <laughs> while squatting, starring Christopher Hugen, Hugh, Hugh, Hewen? I don't know how to say it. You can stop. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, so Maddie, probably why my back was hurting. Yeah. Doing stuff. Well, exactly, and that's you. You just compress it more than you need to, right? So your back muscles turn on a little bit more, and they get in a position to turn on more. So you not only turn them on more, but you feel them more. Mm -hmm. Which those those things are separate, but they're similar. They're related. And that extra, those muscles there are really good at compressing. So you'll feel that tension. Um, just because we did some crazy pistol squats already. Can you put that on that bar? 
So, Maddie, we have a... Does it matter if it goes this way? What's that? You know, facing in. Does it I matter? Like it. No. Well, it kind of does. This, this is the way to do it. You're right. Um, so we, we have a cue for you, um, and I'm going to fix your shirt right here. There you go. Um, so we have a cue for you. I want you to put on some weight here. We're going to do three okay. sets of ten working reps. Got it. So that set didn't count. That was just a warm up, right? Um, we, you know, again, we got to keep warming up, especially since it's cold out here. We're going to try not to talk too much. Um, I want you to work the weight up as high as you can without losing that. Okay. If you can't maintain that little tuck at the bottom and you can't feel those abs, then we'll have to stop. I'm going to go, I'm going to do about 10 with this. Again, try to sit back. Good. Feels good. All right. Do you want to go to this? I I'm going to veto. We're going to go 10 minutes for you. So we prop them up there because it's easier to put on. Try your 10s. Um, do 10. If it feels at least like an 8 out of 10 on a difficulty scale, then we'll count it. Okay. Here. It's, oh. It's pretty good. Oh, I have some one back there. That one wasn't as good. Oh, that one I lost it. That one wasn't as good. One more. Redemption. That's better. There. All the way in. You're good. <laughs> this is so jank. <laughs> um, so, Maddie's starting to show. I, I imagine since I could see it from this side that you guys could see it on the camera, but Maddie's starting to show a little bit of a twist in her squat. So I'm gonna, we'll maybe go up a little bit more. That one's, that one's symmetrical. So we don't have to worry about which side's in. Um, since I've squatted before, we're not gonna worry about collars. I think I'll be okay. Um, I am gonna fix your microphone Ooh. as it flops all the way around here. All better. Okay, my turn. I might call this a working set just to kind of get going. We'll see how it feels. So Things are just falling apart. <laughs> oh, uh, plastic stuff falling from the ceiling. So this isn't about, for me, this isn't about, whew, getting a little dizzy now. This isn't about using a whole lot of weight. You'll notice I'm not pausing at the top. So I'm not so worried about what's happening up there other than I want to get back going to stressing my muscles again. I want to get back going so that I get fatigue build up. Again, not about weight. It's about fatigue, so I want to get this hypertrophy stimuli stimulus. Because I haven't worked out in a while, and I want to be jacked and huge. Um, put your tent on. <laughs> Don't hit your head. Was that last set difficult at all? Um, I think towards the end with really thinking about my muscles, and I definitely felt myself like leaning in towards my right okay, like leg. That? Yeah. So that's good. She can feel it. It means she's not disconnected from her body. We'll stay here. We'll okay. call this set number two. Um, do 10 more of these. You might have to do four sets. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I want you to think about, I want you to kind of turn your hips to the left a little bit and keep your left 
abs on. Okay, give me a nice big exhale. So hold your, your tuck and hold your turn. Those are the things, right? So we wanna to try to feel these abs as much as we feel the right ones. Hang on to that while you squat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Ten, very good. Cool. How did that one feel? It was good. It was definitely. It was more ab than legs. It felt like I think just getting back used to. Yeah. Yeah. That'll. That can't happen. Um, I'd like to get you to a little more leg. We're gonna put a ten and a five on for me. Um, yeah, that can happen. I did think that one looked better though. So if you feel okay, we can put a little bit more weight on for your last one. All right. felt more like it works. <laughs> Let's go 10 and a five for you. I'm gonna check our time, make sure our camera doesn't run out here. We got seven and a half minutes, okay. Yeah, you can tell that was a work sex. I'm breathing, <laughs> breathing much harder. Okay. Am I supposed to turn hip like that? Yeah. Okay, pause, talk a little bit more. Last one. Good. You can kind of see the wrinkles in her shirt where she's doing the bending. Um, you, you can feel it, you already know. Yeah, right, the one right before you told me, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So part of that is you just maybe needed a break. Fatigue can do it. All right, let's just put the 25 on. Ooh, baby, baby. This is my five. Correct, correct. Oh no, no five, sorry. Just 25. Okay. So this is gonna be set two for me because I, I couldn't call 135, so. <laughs> uh, last one, I was getting some pretty serious knee pain. And so all I did, it was over on my right knee, and all I did was I shifted over, tried to load my left leg a little bit more, and then it felt better. So we're gonna keep trying that. digging into my shirt a little more. Okay, um, you're welcome to do another one if you want. I can wanna, do it. If you wanna work on it. Unless okay. you have other things. We got more, but I think you're doing pretty well. We can keep working on it.
sure these mics are picking up great plate noise. <laughs> One last set. Try to keep this ab Is this right to be here. Turned. That look right. Just, I just want you to kind of feel like you're turned. Okay. Because you're turned the other way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Go a little slower on the way down. You're losing control. Yep. Yep, stay back. You got it. Nice job. What's that? I have no idea. It just looks good. <laughs> okay, good. So, I would definitely stop you there. Yeah. That one looked like it was getting pretty difficult. And they just the 20 or? 25, yeah. We got just enough time to finish my set and then move on to the next thing. <laughs> Haven't worked out in a while. <laughs> I really want us to be sore, I guess. <laughs> My knee felt pretty good on the last one, though. That's good. Got it. All right, exercise one complete. <laughs> All right, Maddie, back squat's over. Time for front squat. Seems a little counterintuitive. Why would you need to squat so many different times? Um, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do one set and it's gonna be terrible, okay? okay? <laughs> because I want you to regret doing this. <laughs> so I'll go first, even though I just finished. <laughs> Let's put, we're gonna put a few tens on. One, two, we'll go three. I think I'm, I think I'm down for three. Um, nope, that'll work. So. Oh. Good, oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. If I can feel that difference, then I shouldn't be lifting. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so this is a strip set or a repeated drop set. So I'm going to do 10 with this mm -hmm. and then we're going to take one 10 off and I'm going to do 10 again. I'm going to take another 10 off. I'm going to do 10 again. <laughs> I'm going to take another 10 off and I'll do maybe 10 uh. with just the bar. You're gonna do something similar. <laughs> Good luck <laughs> to myself too. Okay. So we're switching to front squat, even though my microphone's right here. Let me move this down. Might work a little better. Try that out. Okay. idea again is fatigue not weight so I'm going again second set's way worse <laughs> Ah. 
Last one. This is a little bit of cardio. <laughs> to go a little lower on the last ones. We're not gonna give you tens. We're gonna do fives. Five. Let's do two and a half. Two and a half. So here's one. So I want to do this and I want us to get fatigued. I'm getting a little asthma. <laughs> um, but we have to think, even if I did fives for her, that'd be the weight she was back squatting. And I know she's not gonna be able to do that now because she's fatigued. So we have to do the two and a half. So we have to take it down a little bit. Try to get 10 <laughs> on each set. If I tell you to stop, just stop. Good luck. <laughs> Remember, same things apply though. Keep your hips. Yeah. This will be funny if you've never done this squat before. Well, I hurt my wrist last year, so then I didn't do this kind Ah, uh, okay. If it hurts, I'll show you another way. Okay. One more. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> this one's way harder. <laughs> so this squat variation is really good because it shifts your body weight back a little bit. This actually, like her squat looks a lot better. Her form looks a lot better. So she's just looking for physique goals. She's not looking for power lifting. Front squats are really appropriate. Keep your elbows up. Keep the weight on your shoulders. Yep. Good. Did you get 10? Okay, two more. <sighs> Keep your good posture like you had before. Shift back at the bottom. Nice. Two. <sighs> You got two more. Nine, ten, almost there. <sighs> Last one. <laughs> go slow if you have to, go quick if you can. Nice. Five, five more. Six, seven, eight, all the way down. Nine, ten, nice. Good. <laughs> Do you feel your legs more? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So good. So the idea here is you get a little bit more mobility out of the front loading because it shifts your weight back. Um, it's a little harder to do the back squat. So she can sit down more and load her legs muscles more and stress them out and get them fatigued and then get that hypertrophy stimulus. So you get the legs that you're looking for. You're not gonna get, she's not gonna get these huge ass thighs. <laughs> she's just gonna get a nice toned look as long as she eats okay, which we're working on. <laughs> All right, let's rest. All right, team. 
we had to move because we need more space. We're going to do 100 walking lunges, and that's it. So it's just one little finite goal for us to work towards. doesn't require too much talking. We're just going to get going. You want to come behind me, and then we'll count together. See you. Thirty. These can be as bad as you want them to be. If I go down a little slower, I'll feel worse. 48, 50. Maddie, if you need a break, feel free to take one. I just want it to be over with. So I'm gonna try to keep going. I think I've done 70. What? 72. I think I may have missed one. You okay? Yeah, I'm saying I lost count. Okay, that's probably good. So, that one's a nice way to get that fatigue that we're talking about. So you get that toning look, or that muscle building look that you're looking for, but it can be difficult, especially with the fatigue as it builds up. So if you saw Maddie, she was coming back to what she knows, right? She's arching her back a little bit more. I wouldn't ask her, we're only doing this for edif edif your edification purposes, but I would imagine that she'd feel her back a little bit more. Doing the lunges? Yeah. Yeah. Like now? That. Yeah. Okay. It just gets, a little more sensitive when you put that extra pressure on, right? We're not, it's not damaging her back, you don't wanna say that, because um, you can't confidently say that, but you can say that it's just making her a little bit more sensitive. So, when I'm going through and I'm coaching her on that, I probably would've told her, hey, take some breaks. I wouldn't have done it with her to kind of push her along like I did. Um, I would've said, take some breaks. You don't need to rush through it. I'd rather them look really clean then you just get them done. So last one, not last one, we got last two. <laughs> We're gonna do two ab exercises, kind of undo. This is no longer a leg workout, right? We're just trying to restore some of this positioning that we got in the warm up. 
and teach our bodies to hang on to it, even though we're fatigued right now throughout the rest of the day, because there's 23 hours left in the day and we got stuff to do until the next day starts, right? <laughs> um, so especially for Maddie, as her back arches, we gotta do this, we gotta get this position back, teach her how to be there, teach her how to get comfortable there so that she doesn't have to lean back like that all the time. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do one minute of a plank. Shouldn't be too hard, but we've uh, done a whole workout. I'm gonna use this as our timer. You ready? I'm gonna go in three, two, one, and go. Make sure you tuck your tail like we did before. Yeah, and you look pretty good there. Now I want your hands to stay flat. See your, your pointer finger? I want that to stay down in the ground. Keep pushing that down and push your back up towards the sky. I'm gonna try to keep that rounding. You should feel your abs a little bit more with that. <sighs> Let your heels sink towards the ground. Yep, you should feel your abs a little bit more now. We're a little over halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, that was that one. I'm gonna leave my glasses there. We're gonna do, oh, I'm shaking, a little leg <laughs> quiver. We're gonna do a bear walk. So, you can, Maddie, you can come back here, and I'll be here in front. I'm gonna put my thing back in my pocket here. And it's kind of like a inchworm, okay. but we're not gonna walk all the way out and straighten ourselves out. We're just gonna stay at like the top of the inchworm in this little pike position. So bend over for a toe touch, walk your hands out just a little bit, right about here. So we're right here at the top, straighten your legs out. Yes, okay. Step, same side, same arm, hold right there. I want your forward leg to stay straight, forward heel to stay on the ground. Yes, okay, that's one. And we're gonna waddle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. So that's just a Nice way to keep our positionings back in that abs turned on state. That's our workout for warm up to cool down. We did some rocking. We did some crab walks. We did some pistol squat walking. We did some actual pistols. Got really tired from that and then we started squatting. <laughs> and we, then we did our front squats. And then we did our lunges, which she told me off camera were just murder. <laughs> she should have never stopped, she said. You gotta remember that, don't stop. It just gets worse. And then we cooled down with a little bit of a plank, turn those abs back on, and then a little bit of a walk. Keep those abs and move your body around. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, let me know. If you give this workout a try, let me know. Uh, Cause if nobody likes it, I won't keep doing it. <laughs>